Pack Up Your Troubles is the song at the heart of the launch of the BBC's World War I centenary. Written by two Welsh brothers in the early days of the war, the words and tune are still familiar to us a century later. Yet back then, even its writers did not expect it to catch on. The song would originally have been performed in music halls like this one. During the First World War, music hall thrived on the home front as people would head out each night for an evening of entertainment and song. These were the days before radio, and gramophones were expensive, so people would have to turn to their own talents to share music. The piece of kit that made this song accessible was this, the piano. The 60 years leading up to 1914 were a golden era for piano production. So these would have been in every pub, in every house, because you could hire them for just a few shillings a week. Whereas today we download songs or buy CDs, in those days sheet music was the most popular way of getting hold of a song. So the sight and sound of people gathered around a piano for a sing-song would have been very familiar. This is an original copy of the sheet music of the song, and these sold in their thousands. Pack Up Your Troubles was a huge success. Pack up your troubles in your old kit bag. And... Already popular on the home front, it became a firm favourite with soldiers away on the Western Front. And its spread didn't stop there. Before the end of the war, the song had gone global. It had been released on record in the UK and the United States, and even featured in a successful Broadway musical. But what was it that made this song so popular? How did Pack Up Your Troubles become the viral hit of World War One? 